This committee is nearing the end of its work. But as the country, we remain in strange and uncharted waters. We've never had a president of the United States stir up a violent attempt to block the transfer of power. No man who would behave that way at that moment in time can ever serve in any position of authority in our nation again. He is unfit for any office. The committee found that Mr. Trump raised hundreds of millions of dollars with false representations made to his online donors. The proceeds from his fundraising, we have learned, have been used in ways that we believe are concerning. In particular, the committee has learned that some of those funds were used to hire lawyers. We've also obtained evidence of efforts to provide or offer employment to witnesses. Title 18, Section 1512C, which makes it unlawful for anyone to corruptly obstruct, influence, or impede any official proceeding of the United States government. We believe that the evidence described by my colleagues today and assembled throughout our hearings warrants a criminal referral of former President Donald J. Trump, John Eastman, and others for violations of this statute. We believe that there is more than sufficient evidence to refer former President Donald J. Trump, John Eastman, and others for violating Title 18, Section 371. This statute makes it a crime to conspire to defraud the United States. In other words, to make an agreement to impair, obstruct, or defeat the lawful functions of the United States government by deceitful or dishonest means. We make a referral based on Title 18, Section 1001, which makes it unlawful to knowingly and willfully make materially false statements to the federal government. The evidence clearly suggests that President Trump conspired with others to submit slates of fake electors to Congress and the National Archives. The statute applies to anyone who incites, assists, or engages in insurrection against the United States of America and anyone who gives aid or comfort to an insurrection. Nor are President Trump and his immediate team the only people identified for referrals in our report as part of our investigation. We asked multiple members of Congress to speak with us about issues critical to our understanding of this attack on the 2020 election and our system of constitutional democracy. None agreed to provide that essential information. As a result, we took the significant step of issuing them subpoenas based on the volume of information particular members possessed about one or more parts of President Trump's plans to overturn the election. None of the subpoenaed members complied. And we are now referring four members of Congress for appropriate sanction by the House Ethics Committee for failure to comply with lawful subpoenas. Mr. Chairman, I move that the committee favorably report to the House the Select Committee's final report, which includes the committee's legislative recommendations and criminal referrals of Donald J. Trump and others, pursuant to Section 4A of House Resolution 503. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, there are nine ayes and zero noes. The motion is agreed to.